Welcome back here to the What's Cooking program, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, and travel show. I'm Michael Horn. That is Paul Stern. And boy, what a great show we've had today, Paul. We've got uh, Paul Barbie, the owner of Hurley's in New York. We had the great chef, Paul Prudhomme. Roy Newman has been here from the Private Wine Council in studio giving us uh, wine profiles. And speaking of wines, we might as well get to uh, the star here, Peter Mondalvi Jr. from uh, the historic Charles Krug Winery, uh, one of the great wineries of Napa Valley. Uh, Peter, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you. It's great to be back again. Hey, it's always good to have you. And for those that are not familiar, give us a, a little bit of the background of the Charles Krug Winery. This is one of the oldest wineries in Napa Valley in California, correct? Well, yeah, definitely Napa Valley. One of the first here in Napa Valley, uh, founded in 1861 by, of course, uh, Charles Krug. And then uh, my grandparents, who immigrated from Italy around 1908, ultimately got to California and, and bought the Charles Krug Winery in 1943. So that's how we have the the Charles Krug Winery associated with my family name. Uh, it's still 100% family-owned today, three generations worth. And while you have incredibly great wines, and we're going to get into that in a second, the, the, there's history here at this winery because there are great buildings. I know you've recently retrofit one of the buildings. Back in the day, back in the Charles early Charles Krug days, everything was gravity-fed, meaning that grapes were... Uh, carried up to the top and squeezed and pressed and the juices flowed down and you sort of recreated that building and re-retrofit that building haven't you yeah we have in fact back in the, we have some old pictures from the charles Krug days where they have elevators <clears throat> or conveyors they'd bring up the boxes of grapes up to the like the third or fourth floor and then use the, the, the benefits of gravity for uh, you know for getting into tanks and racking so on and so forth down the multiple floors but today, yeah, we've renovated that and, and uh, going back to one of its original uses, it's going to be a, it's a barrel room now for our, our reserve barrel aging program. Love that. And you work, of course, with your father, uh, Peter Mondavi, as your senior, your junior. What is that like? We just had Paul Prudhomme on the air, and he's talking about his nephew, who's the youngest of 13 kids. When you get together with your family and it's your business, uh, are there disagreements, agreements? Do you kind of know each other's uh, methods and ways? Uh, what's it like? It's kind of all of the above. <laughs> we have agreements, we have disagreements, you know, we have argu- arguments, uh, um, we have agreement on, on key things. So it, it's it's really the the whole whole thing there. But it's you know, all three of us: my dad, my brother Mark, and myself. Uh, dad gets involved not on a day to day stuff, but more of the higher level, bigger investment type decisions. But you know, his his first love is just is winemaking. So he's he's often. Uh, Tasting a lot of the new wines and new blends as well. Now you're the winemaker. Does he get involved with you in the process as well? Oh, he lets his opinion be known. He has, <laughs> uh, of course, he has tremendous wisdom and experience over his. You know, uh, he's been making wine since the, really the '40s. Um, so he'd love to have his, his input on that. And, and uh, yeah, so it's, it, yeah, that, that's a great part of our winery and our and the quality and style of our wines come from that. Peter Mondavi Jr. is here from the historic Charles Krug Winery on uh, What's Cooking. Now, for many people that visit Napa Valley, uh, one of, it could be argued that one of the first places they should visit is Charles Krug Winery. Uh, what type of a, not only a challenge, but a commitment that must be? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it definitely should be one of the, the, the places to visit here because of the, the history. And that's really where uh, the Napa Valley wine industry started with, with, uh, with Charles Krug. Very, very influential uh, and developing uh, the wine industry and, and the viticultural part of it as well. He started a viticultural society here to improve the quality of, of grape growing and move to um, you know, the higher quality varietals as well, and again, back in the 1800s. So, so definitely a leader uh, in the industry. And it's, it's a great place to stop. We're just right across the street uh, from the Culinary Institute of America, their West Coast campus, just immediately north of on Highway 29. Oh, Highway 29 right there, that beautiful uh, uh, grounds there with the trees and everything, and, and it all starts with Charles Krug, kind of the holy grail of wine in Napa Valley. Peter Mondavi Jr. is our guest. Roy Newman is here, Peter, from the Private Wine Council in studio. Guest, Roy, you had a comment. Yeah, Peter, great, great to talk to you. I mean, you, when you talk about legendary wineries, obviously Krug is right at the top of the list, and one of the questions I have for you is with I advise people on collecting and cellaring and so forth. And a lot of times when I bring up names like Krug or your uh, uh, 
you know, your grandfather's wine, some, some of the traditional wines, people say, oh, yeah, yeah, those are great wines, but I've had all those. I, I want to try something new and exciting. So how do you keep your brand fresh and current in the marketplace? Well, we've gone through tremendous uh, renovations, some of it alluded to earlier with the, the reconstruction of our buildings. But more importantly, uh, we've gone through our vineyards. Uh, we have significant land holdings here in Napa Valley, and what's key for us is that we supply all of our own grapes grow our own grapes. We have full control over that. Uh, but we've gone through and replanted really in the last decade using uh, some of the greatest um, selections of uh, Cabernet available out there, both that come domestically here from California and, and UC Davis, and also ones that come from uh, Bordeaux. So we're really on the you know, leading edge with a lot of other people on the, on the selection have in our vineyards much tighter spacing. We used to plant oh, about 500 vines per acre. Today we're about 12 to 1,700 vines. Wow. Um, we've done that and uh, really embraced our, our oak program once again, again, starting about a decade ago. What's the uh, website there, uh, Peter? We can check uh, it all out and see what's there. Yeah, charleskrug.com. That's K R U G. And what's the what's the hot seller? What what are we liking so far? What's popping out of the uh, the winery there? Well, really, some of our hot sellers now is our, our Charles Krug Yontville Napa Valley Cabernet. We've been producing that since 1944. Yep. And then another wine and uh, relatively new style, not relatively new, uh, started this particular style of Sauvignon Blanc in 1998. We borrowed some. Museum winemaking techniques applied it to our Sauvignon Blanc, tweaked it, and really perfected uh, right around 2004. So, uh, Sauvignon Blanc is. Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet, and much more. Check it out at charleskrug.com. Peter Mondavi Jr., thanks for being with us. We continue on the What's Cooking Show. Hey, Radio 